Yo, what's up? It's your boy. This is a Jake Paul versus Nathan Diaz. I know I'm calling him Nathan. Nate Diaz. <laughs> Nathaniel Diaz. Prediction, I think. We'll only go like five, six rounds maximum. That is if Nathan or Nate, well, there's the storm, the initial intense onslaught given by, given to him by Paul. You know, something I'm really thinking about is the hopeful man versus the how is it is logical man. You know, the hopeful man hopes for Nate Diaz to win. The logical man understands that Jay Paul is gonna win. Jay Paul is gonna be training extremely hard. He's more shredded than before. He's in phenomenal shape. Humbled by his previous loss by Tommy Fury. I think what's gonna happen is what is the funniest funny thing to think about because he will probably whoop me. Like he's definitely definitely whoop me, bro. He's way so much more than me. He, like, he, his punches but fucking they were hurt me. Like, that's the that's that's the given. However, the moment he fights an actual boxer, his weight class <laughs> a bit higher skill level than him, but like around his skill level, he loses. No. And um <laughs> I'll go. I'll go for Tommy Fury the entire night. But yeah, it is a sad moment for Jake Paul, and um, nothing personal, of course. It's it's very funny. <laughs> what the fuck? He got as soon as he loses to the boxer, he goes back to MMA fighters. I don't know, man. I don't know, brother. I mean, he's just. I guess for him, he's just trying to build up that portfolio first, trying to build up that ring confidence, which I understand, like. Nothing wrong with that, but Jesus Christ, man, <laughs> a very far cry from what you consider like a phenomenal boxer. But, but um, yeah, uh, <sighs> that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys on the fight. I will be um, recording my reaction on the fight, but that's pretty much it. Just highlights. Catch you guys in a bit. Peace.